As we prepared to say goodbye to Pope Francis, the crowds in those three American cities erupting once again into applause. And for those able to ask the Pope questions tonight, to share with him their stories of adversity, they are moments they will never forget. Valerie, who after her bravery, that song, a hug from her mother, telling us it is a moment that changed her. I know now that I'm an inspiration to many people, people that like feel like they're alone. And so I'm just an example of that you can be courageous. And then the nun he singled out, Sister Norma. And I said, oh, that's me. Hermana Norma. He's actually speaking to me. And then I saw his little hand go like, come, 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 come. Go like, oh my God. I felt like a little child, you know, uh, called forth by their dear father. I'm still in, in heaven, you know, <laughs> just uh, experiencing his presence. It was wonderful. His message to Ricardo to keep going. For him to tell me that just made me realize that what my father and my mother have uh, have taught me was was right, and it's something that I'm con I'm going to continue to do. And the single mother he called courageous. When he said Rosemary, you know, you should be proud of yourself, and I was just like. Oh my gosh, like he's actually telling me. Hold your head high. He's telling me that I'm doing you. good. And I was like, all right, yay, it's me. And we ask one more question. Do you have a message for America before your visit, a parting message? I'm filled with hope to meet you all. I pray for you all for all of the people of the United States. And I ask you, please, to pray for me. Thank you. Santo Padre, le agradezco por su tiempo. Y muchas gracias. Muchas gracias, Santo Padre, su santidad. Thank you. And after we thank the Pope, he stands up, and in that room, connecting with each of us one more time, handing us a rosary, a blessing, all of it part of a message he hopes we'll bring back to America. And as the hundreds who have gathered back home continue to cheer on Pope Francis, we are reminded of the smile shared here tonight. One final round of cheers for Pope Francis. And we will never forget being in that room as everyday Americans from across the country had their moment with the Pope. And as we say goodnight here from the Vatican, a number that we came across in his first full year as Pope, 5.9 million visitors came here to the Vatican. That's triple the number before him. He's about to bring that energy to America. I'm David Muir. From all of us here at ABC News, thank you for watching tonight as we say goodnight from the Vatican.